Well, good morning, Algebra 2. Coming to you from my brand new teaching suite here at 751 County Road 11. Okay. Thought I'd show you my surroundings just a little bit. Right here, it's just the normal stuff. But then, out the window are my in-law neighbors. Got the big old flagpole. I don't see any dogs running around right now. It's just inside my house. Okay. Okay, we're going to try and get an early start on this. Um, first thing. Um, Jeepers. Okay, we're struggling with some more already with this thing. Come on. Focus. Okay. Okay. So let's go over a couple problems here. We'll go ahead and get the music stopped. Okay, so the answer to 26, you can see right there, 120y, the square roots of 2z, 28. 28, I had a question, I had somebody ask a question to do uh, 28. This 4 is not a fourth root, that's actually a multiplier outside. Okay, so let's go ahead and combine these together. I'll do it underneath here so we can see a little bit better. 4 times 6 is 24. Square roots of... 3 times 24 is 72, a to the second, b to the fourth. Okay, so now we've got to cut this up into the things we know, the things we don't. 24 is outside over here, so I've got 36. I know the square to that, but I don't know the square to 2. 36 times 2 gives me 72. a squared and b to the fourth both go over here. So what do I have left? 24 times 6 24 times 6, what the heck is it? I think it's 144. 24 times 6, yeah, 144. Square to a squared is a. Square to b to the fourth is b squared. Square root of 2. Okay. And in the book, they probably have an absolute value around that square root. I'm not worried about that at all. Okay. Actually, they do not. They're not doing that in this book yet. Okay. So, there's how to do that problem. Combine them, cut them up, and then go from there. Okay. Okay, so 38 is 212. 40 is 36 squared. It's 2 plus, and you can see the rest of it. 46 I had a question on 46. Now, I don't believe we've done one with a negative before, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut it up into things we know the cube root of, things we don't thing I know the cube root of is negative 8. So then we can actually take the negative out. There's no i's here because i is the square root of negative 1. Um, and <clears throat> so negative 8 and 6. x to the 6th, I know the square root of that because 6 divided by 3 is 2. y to the 11th, I know y to the 9th, and I left to have, a, have left over y squared. So I got negative 2x squared, y to the third, cube roots of 6y squared. Okay. <clears throat> There's 48. And here's 425. Just a couple things on 425. Um, again, powers on the top, roots on the bottom. So this is the third power of the square root, the ninth power of the fourth root. Um, I think on 4, it originally would be 6 and 4, they just reduced it. Um, and on 8 and 10, just make sure you go ahead and um, add your exponents when you can add them, multiply them when you need to multiply them. Uh, that'd be on 10 and 11, I'm sorry. So 10, this just came from adding 3 fourths and 1 half, and 11, you would subtract the 2 and get um, 3 fifths. So I know 11 is not written there. I was going to do an example of um, 
of an application of this, but they, but just, just a dumb question. So I just decided, nope, let's not waste our time with that, and let's not do 41. So today is just going to be largely review. Okay, we've worked on this skill for a couple days. So let's, we're going to keep it fairly short and sweet today. Uh, 426, 16 through 27, all. 29, 30, 31, 45, 47. And then these, we're going to wait till tomorrow. That's what that means in my book. Okay? So we're keeping it fairly short. Um, but stay with us. Stay with us. Um, McKenna, nice job continuing to ask questions. Um, I would sure feel better if, if I'd get a little bit more feedback from the rest of you. Um, so please, um, even on the discussion, even if you say, this is easy, or, or um, I struggled with number 51, but got it figured out, or, um, or is Jack Selkin still alive because he isn't watching videos or handing in his test, something like that, um, let me know. And so, so there we go. This is for... Friday. We made it through another week, thank goodness. Okay. Have a great weekend, folks.